How's it going everyone? Welcome back to the channel. My name is Zeppelin and today we are back with some more of the warning. Uh, my video, the last video that I done on the warning choke actually isn't out as of the time of recording this because it got blocked. So I had to put the release back a few days until they released the block, which uh, by the time that this video is out, it'll have been out a few days and I hope you really enjoyed it. But from this point onwards, I've decided that I'm going to try and react to this EP in order. I think Choke and Evolve were both from the same EP, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going in order now. We're obviously going to skip over the ones we've already done, but we should get a... I should get at least a full picture of the EP from listening to the rest of them in order now. So this band is a band that I have been really enjoying. It's a band that I'm like quite worried about reviewing because... I think I mentioned this in the last video. The, the 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 fandom has been obviously like fans of them a long time from their growth, you know. I've seen a lot of it in the comments, but I had also done my own research. I know like their age, I know that they've been going for a long time since kids, their background, all that. And a lot of the time people can get very defensive because of the fact that they've known them for so long in this way. Also, if the angle looks weird uh, when I'm recording, it is because my back is very sore today. So I have my chair quite far back and I've adjusted the camera to try and make it look a little more normal. If things look weird, I don't know how they're going to turn out, but I, I think it looks fine. But yeah, they're, they're, they're a band that I'm, I am, I am worried about, you know, criticizing because I think the type of music that they're doing you know kind of the more i've thought about their music and i still really like it like there's nothing I, I i there's nothing in the music that makes me dislike the music but there are things in there that aren't necessarily my thing and stating they're not necessarily my thing you know i don't want it to get in tr get me in trouble so to speak with the fans but you know i also do want to be honest and i want before we go into this reaction it's something that i feel like it's very important to put out there is that me enjoying something and something being good are two completely different things at the end of the day due to personal opinion just because i like something doesn't mean it's good just because something is good doesn't mean that i'll necessarily like it so there could be some good writing in here that just doesn't you know doesn't hit me in the right spot or there could be a song that isn't like great but i enjoy and yeah it's just a couple of things i want to get out there because I've had a couple of comments recently, not on the warning. Uh, the, the people who come over from, who are fans of the warning have been very respectful and very good, but there's been a couple of ones of the Aurora reaction that came out a couple of days ago from the time that you're seeing this that have been quite defensive. And I was complimenting um, the music for the most part, but it was, I think people didn't like drawing comparisons. People took a big issue at me saying that about like Radiohead, which, I think was daft. I'll go into that more in the Aurora reactions if you're a fan of this channel, like the next one that I do, but pe pe people were saying that, uh, like, you know, that Radiohead were kind of hacks and they do basic music. Anyone who says that has only listened to their first two albums. I'm, I'm convinced because they are the definition of an artsy band uh, nowadays, like, w without a shadow of a doubt. So people need to do the research before, before they go criticizing stuff like that. I mean, Radiohead are one of the all-time greatest bands, probably, and I'd prefer Muse, but I'd sooner defend Radiohead than I would defend Muse in terms of who's an objectively better art, like, artist, group of artists, so on and so forth. But anyway, that's kind of off the topic. We don't want to drag this out too long. We're going to get straight into this. The Warning Disciple. Official music video 4K. We're not running at 4K because I don't want my PC to blow up. Here we go. Oh, I didn't press play. Come on, play, you bastard. Oh, for God's sake. Right, come on. There we go. Still not. Pro, street, pro, pro, pro streamer and uh, YouTuber, guys. I think the volume's okay for you guys. I don't want it to be too high. A little bit more. Yeah, I'll do. There will be pauses, by the way. Something to the new 
That's a very Muse inspired chord. What do we have time wise? Okay, we're gonna throw a first pause there. I'm liking it. I know I don't look like I'm liking it, probably by my face, but again, I'm in pain today, so you know, keep that in mind. It's it's yeah, I am liking it, but it's so far at least my least favorite of the three that I've listened to so far, and I I couldn't put my finger necessarily on the, on the criticisms that I had in terms of in terms of a word to describe the negative the negatives that I had when listening to their music, the little negatives that there are. And I was chatting to some people recently, or yesterday, and they kind of, they were saying it in, in like jest, but it actually got me thinking a little bit. It, it, they have the tones of modern whingy rock. Now, before anyone gets annoyed at that, I'll sort of explain my taking from that, is that it, it's very like, it's still hard to explain, but a lot of people who are maybe I've seen some people who say like they like this band and they haven't liked any bands in like 30 years. You know, there'll be some older fans here, which I'm very appreciative, by the way. You guys will know yourself, if you're rock fans, kind of what rock has changed into after the 90s, after sort of the MTV era, kind of what, what became of rock after, the, after the, the grunge era. It sort of went quite downhill in terms of, well, there's, there were all, there's always been people making like good rock, but in terms of what mainstream rock is. I find it hard to put into words myself. I know it's, I'm a I'm trying to react to this, and it's kind of terrible. It leaves a lot of people in the dark who won't really know what I'm talking about, and I apologize for that. But people who have kind of maybe grown up or really been a big fan of '60s, '70s, and even '80s rock will know what I mean when I say that. Come the '90s and since, rock has been a bit weird in terms of what you'd see on Scuzz and Kerrang! and all that. It's 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 a really weird type of rock that's more akin to pop than that of rock. It's like just pop chords using using just heavier instruments. And the verses that, that The Warning use so far from all of their music, even though I really like it, there are tinges in there for me, uh, to me, of that. But I, I, want, I want people to understand when I say that as well. They are a very new band in terms of writing this level of music. I know they've been doing it for a long time, but they're very young, so these things can change. It's just common of music nowadays, and I think a lot of it could be down to production. Again, I think this is a band I prefer to listen to live. I may go for, I may re-react to some songs on this channel for live recordings, because the bass and some stuff sounds a bit washed out in the studio version. There's a bit of the washed outness going on. Again, I, I really do like it. Don't get I'm not I'm not saying this like these are I'm only thinking negatives. They're just things I kinda want to get across and I feel like this was the perfect opportunity to do that. I don't want to give all my thoughts away here or I'll have nothing to say at the end, so let's keep going with this anyway. Again, this riff is cool. I really like that riff. But I'd like if again if the riff was heavier, which I'd say it would be live. Great bass. That's a great bass. That's a very Chris Wolfenstorm inspired bass. This part's very Muse inspired, I think. The first part of the chorus I don't like, but all of this. All right, yeah, we'll throw a pause here. It's a good spot. The first part of the chorus I don't quite like at all. I think it's very generic, but then it really turns into sort of a Muse inspired, um, very classically based chorus, and the chorus wins me over in its second part without a, without a shadow of a doubt. Um, see if I can add in any little more thoughts while I'm paused, real quick. So you know, I try my best not to get blocked. Um. I, I, again, I'm, 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 I'm sticking with that. It's my least favorite of the three. I still like it. It's still going in a playlist. Every song I've listened to so far is now in a playlist of which I listen to regularly. So, I mean, I'm very picky with my music as well. So if anyone's around here who knows me, it's, that's a good sign. That's really all you need. That's, that's all you know I'm, 
I'm, I'm enjoying the music, but it's funny, like, as again, listening to this is that there's nothing specifically negative about the, the song. It's like everything that has just been little, little, tiny, little negatives in the other two songs I've heard are more prominent here. They're the same type of negatives, which is actually a really good thing because it's sort of just a... Um, it's that's something you just get used to listening to the music and something that you'd eventually, um, you know, get over. It's the same way as, again, Muse fan, as I said a million times, look at all the things on my wall. They have some horrible songs and some really negative stuff about their writing, but as a fan, you then begin to overlook that to, the, that to the point where you don't even see it anymore and you only see the parts that you like. It's just some natural styles of their music. Sometimes it can, you know, be a bit annoying on, on, on an initial listen. And. Yeah, so I feel like what maybe with fans of this, I hope they wouldn't criticize me too much for saying that, or fans of the the warning, because I am liking it, and it's music that will definitely grow on me over time. They're a band that will grow on me over time. I look forward to see where they go in their music, and yeah, as I get the neg the negatives are minimal. I just you know I I'm trying to be honest here. I don't want like as much as I really appreciate all the fans here. It's like I don't want to just be. A fanboy you know I want to try and be objective I want to look at things critically it's what I again I have a degree in law it's all I do is look at things critically you know but anyway we're already like 12 minutes into this recording this is going to be a long one let's get this finished out and I'll give you my final thoughts <clears throat> Nice background vocals. I don't like the OOs because it just. It gives me like PTSD of Imagine Dragons. Uh, any, any of that in any music, I just go no, no, not for me. That's the most negative thing of all of all of this. The chorus is already growing on me more and more. You know, it really is. Oh, very, very abrupt ending. Interesting. In oh God, shut up, ads. Get on my, get on my face, ads. Yeah, no, that was that was very interesting ending. How it's very abrupt. It's the first one on the EP, I think. So that's a very good. That is a very good introduction. Sorry, my hair's a mess today. I'm, I'm just kind of letting it do its own thing. I think it's sitting nice, but it's weird. It's yeah, whatever. Not that you care. But anyway, that was evolve. No, it's gone on to evolve. What the hell am I on about? It's disciple by the warning. Okay, to give that out of 10, I've already given a lot of my thoughts away already on this, so it's not exactly going to be much of an uh, exit exit uh, outro here. I think I'd give it a 7.5 out of 10, which could potentially move up to 8 over time, because even during the song, there were things that were growing on me. Uh, I think it's a very... I think, again, it's a very good song. It shows off the talents of, 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 of all the artists involved again. The, the bass, I really, really liked the bass in it, particularly this time around. And yeah, I'm, I'm, a, I'm a fan, you know, it, it's good stuff. It's it's good stuff. Like I say, there's some things in there that remind me a little too much of newer rock for my liking. But I think that's something that would, that would fade with time that I'd be able to get over. And ultimately, it doesn't really deter me too much from the quality of the music. And that's something that there is there. There's a quality in terms of the technical ability of everyone on their instruments, their songwriting, their influences appeal to me. So there's a lot of positives there that are like, I couldn't really pick out individually. They're just general positives. I like it. I do like it. 
Um, yeah, and I think that's it that I've got to say. I hope people don't react too badly for this one because I know I sounded a little harsher. It's just that listening to this one and after having thought about the band for going on nearly a week now, I have been able to sort of get a couple of things out there that I felt like I wanted to get out there to give a more ob objective point of view. But I still do hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure to leave a like, make sure to subscribe. You guys have gotten me to, as of this recording, to 600 subscribers. In the last video, I think I said it was close to 500. And that video, as of now, isn't even out yet. And we're on 600. And I know so much of that has been from you guys who are fans of The Warning. You're so supportive to people who choose to delve into, you know, it's your baby. You're, you're, you're fans of, of, of this band that's grown steadily for years who are still very young you know this is very much your child you've in a way you're protective of it online and you, and and you've kind of been very nice and supportive to me letting me into this uh into this world like there's been very little hate and i'm appreciative of that because i know i'm not the most likable guy around i'm either a, a lot you love him or hate him type of guy when it comes to the the opinions that i'd have on things so thanks again for subscribing i hope you continue to subscribe throughout these reactions you're pushing me towards youtube partner so thanks a million make sure to check out all the other videos on my channel including the last of us part two critical analysis it's a very very good video i think i spent a very long time on it and i'd appreciate anyone who even goes to check out a little bit of it or even watch it in like 10 minute increments throughout a couple of days you know it's an hour long video and yeah i just really appreciate it god we're in 17 minutes now I have to cut maybe something out. Uh, we'll, we'll, we'll see. We'll see. But anyway, guys, thank you very much. Take care. Have a good rest of your day. And I can't wait to listen to more. Peace.